Okay, so we are choosing where to go. The Obsidian Field Lens is where we need to head out to. So let's head out on our first expedition. Oh, I like this loading scene, this loading screen. I like that loading screen. Okay, let's see what uh, what we need to do out here. Righto, righto. Let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. So we got research tasks here. Uh, they are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of research tasks. Interesting. Press the down button to open the Pokedex, then check what kind of research tasks are available uh, and the Pokemon you've registered. Once you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research task for the species by pressing the down button. Okay. So we got some stuff we can do there. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon. Diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. To do so, you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now. Now. There's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. <laughs> Come again? Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. The Dark Souls roll. See? That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those Shinx got me with Thundershock, I might have been done if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Oh, alright. So we're gonna go on our first adventure, are we? actual first uh just by ourselves. so i do want to do some exploring here Let's see if we can nope can't get up that rock but we can go through can we collect those flowers no those flowers look collectible though get ready for some survey core wisdom focus on the pokemon with the zl button then press the down button to open the pokedex You'll see what it takes for that Pokemon. Interesting. Okay. Do you see that your research task for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right. Catching just one won't do it. You've got to catch two, then four, and then more and more. So you got to catch a ton of Pokemon. Okay. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Now give it a try if you want. I'll go on ahead. All right, our first taste of freedom. And I just want to go through and explore a little bit. I see we have a tree over here. Let's collect some items. We got five apricorns there. Let's battle the Bidoof. See, uh, see what this Bidoof is able to do. Not a whole lot. I, it's looking around. You just hit it with fire, but that's okay. And a critical hit to defeat the Bidoof. Looks like everyone gets experience. And then we did just beat one. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. Oh boy. Okay, so we need to defeat a couple more catch a couple more, and then catch some heavy ones, whatever that means. Let's just try uh, catching it. Uh-oh. Get in the ball! Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so we caught a Bidoof there. Let's catch this other Bidoof. Uh, the Bidoof ran. Okay, thank you. 
So there's a bunch of medicine out here as well. And then what was the... Oh, why is dodge? Okay. So why is how you dodge? And I wonder what's faster, running or rolling? Because there are some games where you have rolling. And rolling is actually faster than running. Okay, there's the Wurmple. And we needed that Wurmple for... For the guy in town, so we have that. That's uh, that's the Pokeball. So it collects stuff for you. That is actually really nice. So I can just throw it, you know, throw stuff at it, and then run away. Let's see if we can go find a Bidoof over here. Now I'm just wondering when I'm able to get. My Zoroark. That's who I'm really waiting for right now. I don't see any more... Bidoofs over here. I do see some Starlies out in the distance. Alright, let's check the Pokedex again. So we still haven't been able to record enough of them. Oh, this is interesting too. Okay. So for Cyndaquil, I just have to do like flame attacks, quick attacks, and things like that. That is cool. Okay. So it kind of shows us what moves it'll learn later on. Let's see if we can catch a Starly real quick. Yo, and you can catch multiple at once. That's so cool. Okay, we've caught the three Starly. Did we get an Apricorn from catching the Starly? That's cool. I do hear a Shinx over here somewhere. I just, I want to explore. I want to see how far we're able to explore. There's a Shinx. See if we can catch a Shinx without having to battle it. It's going to be tough. But we can at least give it a shot. Alright, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I do want to... See what we can do here. Ah, Tumblestone. So these are what we need to help create Pokeballs as well. So we'll go ahead and collect some of those. See if we can hit this Shinx. Close, but no cigar. Oh, it's angry. All right. We'll go ahead and battle this Shinx. And I think we'll knock him out. Oh, this Shinx is level six. Okay. I mean, we're still higher level, but... That hurt. I love that we can move around. It is so cool. We're battling two Pokemon. Okay, we're just... We gotta get rid of this Shinx. I think we'll try and catch this Shinx. So we'll go ahead and use items and throw the Pokeball at it. No need to aim this one, which is nice. See? There we go. Okay. So we beat one Shinx and we defeated the other. Go through and collect some more materials. Now let me see about that medicinal leak. Okay, so it'll be used as a crafting item once we unlock how to make potions. There's another Bidoof, so let's go ahead and capture it. <gasps> Eevee! Bidoof. All right. Forget the Bidoof. We're going after Eevee. No, the, e the Eevee disappeared. The Eevee disappeared. I saw the Eevee and it disappeared. All right. We'll go back to that Bidoof. And the Bidoof ran off too. I just lost both of them. Both the Pokemon I wanted. All right. I guess we can go 
and explore just a little bit more. There's a Bidoof over there. But now that I know there are Eevees nearby, I'm going to want to keep an eye out for Eevee. There's the Bidoof. See if we can capture it. And if we can't, we're going to battle it. There we go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and Ember. This is a pretty strong Bidoof. We'll go ahead and do another Ember. We got a burn, which isn't really good. Ooh. And that was reduced damage, too. All right. Let's catch this Bidoof now. Make this the third Bidoof to catch. And then I got to go find that Eevee. There we go. Grit dust? What is that? Mysterious dust that can raise effort level for one of the Pokemon's stats. Oh! That's really neat. You know what? Let's increase the special attack. Might as well. We're going to be sticking with the Cyndaquil. I know that much. Everyone else on the team, not so much. But let me check out our... Pokemon real quick. Uh, can, I don't think we can change out in the field. Okay. What about in the water? Oh, we can trudge through the water too. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, those were cherry berries. I thought those were more apricorns. We've mastered a move on Cyndaquil here. What move did we master? Quick attack we've mastered. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if that allows us to use strong moves now. <gasps> There's an Eevee. Okay. See if we can sneak up on it. Okay, it didn't see us. It's going to be a hard catch. And we got the Eevee! Alright, I'm going to add Eevee to the team for the time being. Once uh, once we get back to camp. Just because, uh, well, Umbreon would be fun to use. There's some weasels over there too. Okay, what we're we supposed to be doing out here anyway? I've, I've lost track. Unknown habitat. Oh, that's cool. And we can check the habitats as well. That is cool. Okay. You know what? We're out here. Might as well catch a Ponyta. Oh, and that looks like a instant catch. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Am I going to try it? Yeah, I am. Big old massive hulking Pokemon. I missed. Uh-oh. Oh, it noticed us. Oh, it noticed us. I don't think we can catch it anymore. We just gotta... We gotta run. Goodbye, Rapidash. Well, I, I thought about it. We tried. We gave an attempt. We're going back over there. We're going back over. Oh, we just got some Stardust off of that, too. Okay. Okay. It's a level 40. We're just gonna leave it alone. We're getting out of here. Okay. As much as I wouldn't mind trying to catch it, it doesn't look like that's going to be possible right now. So we're uh, we're just going to bolt. We're going to get out of here. We're going to maybe take someone on of our own. Uh, someone close to our size. 
might as well go around and collect some more things, and then we'll go talk with, uh, with Ray up here. I am gonna need more apricorns, so we're just gonna... We're gonna do just that. We're gonna collect some apricorns. We're running low on Pokeballs. So we are gonna be needing some more. How far can we throw it? Can we hit the tree from here? We didn't hit it, but it got close enough. All right, let's head back to base camp. Let's see if we can run back and swap out some Pokemon first. And then we'll come back here and talk with uh, with Ray. We'll also want to heal our Pokemon too, so we'll need to keep that in mind. I think rolling might be the faster method. I could be wrong, but... We'll try it out for a little bit. Alright, we can swap Pokemon from here, which is actually nice. Oh, and look at that. They each have, like, different starting stats. So this EV, like this, this Bidoof, starts with 2 in HP and special attack. This EV starts with 1 in normal attack. This, okay. That's really cool. So let's swap out just a whole handful of them. Maybe we can find another Eevee. Maybe let's do that. Let's go try and find a better Eevee real quick. All right. We'll go to sleep for a while. Just a while. That's all. And we're all happy and healthy. We're going to move them all into the storage. Um, Same thing with these. I don't think we can craft stuff out in the wild. No. So we might as well throw those into the box as well. That can be sold for money, so we'll just move all of those. Those should be good. Let's head back out into the wild. I want to go find one more Eevee before we go talk with Ray. Right, I'm remembering that name, right? I hope so. Okay, so for Eevee, we want to head back over here. There's fall damage. Noted. There's fall damage in this game. Looks like you do recover health, which is nice. Okay, we are in the horseshoe plane where Eevees spawn. So let's see if we can maybe look around for one. Couple Starlies nearby. I don't see any Eevees just yet. We did find one over here, so let's maybe head closer this way again. A couple Bidoofs over there. What is going on? Let's go check that out. There was like a sparkling... Yeah, that, that's sparkling over there. Let's check this out real quick. There's some Buizels. Oh, okay, so the sparkling ones will give us... Got it, those give us some better things. I haven't seen Eevees yet. Maybe Eevees are rather rare. And it's just coincidence that I ran into two of them pretty quickly. But we're going to continue running around... Something sees us. What's wanting to attack? Is it the Buizels? It might be the Buizels. We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave. We don't want the Wurmple. We're looking for that Eevee. We're looking for... That Eevee. We can't dodge in the water. That is good to know.
Maybe we did just get lucky finding two Eevees like that. Let's see what this guy has to say. If you're feeling worn out, have a rest in a tent in one of our base camps. Got it. Okay. Looks like they said something about being able to wait till nighttime as well. So I don't know if it's based off of our normal day-night cycle. I guess we'll find out later on. More Bidoofs. I'm not seeing any more Eevees. Alright, we're going to go collect our Eevee from the box then. That way we can uh, use it. We'll use it for a bit until we find some more Pokemon we want to use. Alright, and then we'll go talk with Ray over there. I wonder if we can... Can we fast travel? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Thought I had that muted. We'll go ahead and mute that now, but it doesn't look like we can fast travel. So we're just gonna roll on all the way up to base camp. 15 Pokeballs to our name. Oh, we can craft stuff out in the field, though, which is nice. And we'll craft as many Pokeballs as we can. We're up to 41. We can also do some shopping. We don't really need anything. But let's go ahead and pull the Eevee. I think that'll be nice to use. Maybe a Shinx? Maybe we'll pull a Shinx. We'll pull this Shinx. This Shinx looking pretty strong. So I think we'll roll with this for the time being. And let's go ahead and let's continue on with the story. We can go look at it. It was an apricorn. Okay. So I knew, I knew it was something. Looks like we can slowly walk up the hill. I said we're going to go talk with Ray, but now I just want to explore a little bit more. Found a whole new area we can go look at. But not a whole lot of new Pokemon. So I think we'll be okay for the time being. Let's scare the Starly away. All right. Let's go talk with them. I know I'm lagging on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Just hold ZL, press down, try checking your tasks for Starly next. So I wonder how much of it we need to complete for the you know Pokedex to be completed. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? If you can get that done, you can get that done by hiding in some tall grass to catch them. Give it a try. I think we already did that, but we'll go ahead and do it again. I'll go wait up ahead for oh, I'll wait up ahead again. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. I'll go wait up for you ahead. Not again. Where did I get again from? All right, let's try and uh, catch some Starly. I know we've already caught a couple, but let's catch another one. That Starly definitely didn't see us. I think that Starly caught us. So we've caught five of them. And that one counted as not being seen. That's okay. Awesome. Let's see if we can find one more Starly to complete that part of the Pokedex. Shinx, no. All right, we'll do a quick battle here. Now, we did master quick attack. So, mastering a moves. Okay, mastering moves allows you to use the quick and strong. So, let's do an agile style. 
This allows us to attack faster. And move again. Nope, it doesn't allow us to move again. This, okay, this will allow us to move twice. So we'll do an agile style here, a quick attack. And then we can move again. And this time we'll do a strong style quick attack. All right, and down goes Shinx. That's going to take a bit of getting used to. I do see some shinies, some sparklies over here. Let's go check that out. Some Stardust and Tumblestone. I like how you can get experience by just throwing them out to help in the world. So it's not all from battling. All right, let's go find one more Starly to catch. That way we can complete a bit more of the Pokedex for it. I can see this game being very time consuming and I'm okay with it. I had mentioned how I wanted a Pokemon game to last at least eight hours. And I think that's kind of what we have here. This, I mean, in order to complete the Pokedex, you have to do so much. Ah, there's a Starly. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a little closer. That one saw us. Okay. So we're not going to catch that one. However, that one didn't see us. So we'll just chuck a Pokeball right at its face. There we go. Couple Starly's got new moves there. Let's check the Pokedex real quick on Starly. Uh, okay, so we've caught six. That one did spot us, unfortunately. We haven't defeated any. Okay. Apparently we have two different types of forms. All right, well, let's uh battle this one then. Starly, come here. All right, so we're able to battle. Starly is keeping its guard up. We're going to go ahead and Ember. I think that's going to knock the Starly out. The crit did not matter. We do need to catch another Starly without being seen. Let's see if we can spot another Starly close by. Maybe up this hill a little bit. There's something up here. They've made it very, like, cheese-proof. You can't just walk straight up the wall, nor can you climb it like in Breath of the Wild. Oh, something sees us. There's some shinks nearby. That looks interesting. Let's go see what's up here. Just some tumble stone. Nice experience though. Now I've all I've gotta remember that there is fall damage. I really want to just jump off the cliff, but that will not end well. Okay, I'm not seeing any more Starly, so I think we'll just continue onward here. There are some Shinx. Maybe we can... Let's check some of the Shinx stuff. Times we've seen it use Quick Attack, times we've seen it use Bite. Number I've defeated with Ground-type moves. Okay. We can beat one more to get another Pokedex uh, entry. Who did I throw out to battle Shinx? Our own Shinx. Okay. I mean, this Shinx is pretty strong. And we can attack twice with twice with quick attack. 
before it can attack once, which is actually really nice. And that should be enough to knock it out. This Shinx is actually really strong. Okay. Maybe we'll use the Shinx for a little bit. Okay. Let's check another one. So we have defeated quite a bit. V investigated the Bidoof that bothered the village. Interesting. Okay. If we use Ember five more times, we do unlock something for the Pokedex. So let's uh let's battle and use Ember. We don't have any ground type moves yet. Okay, the burn is very good here. Quick attack, okay, it's just like agile, which is interesting. But no, we need to use Ember. Five more to max it out. Another spoiled apricorn. There's another Shinx. Just hit it in the head. This one's only level two. I'll be very surprised if we don't knock it out. Wow, okay. Nine levels ahead. Didn't knock it out in the single attack. Okay, that allows us to take the Shinx out. Cyndaquil's also pretty close to evolving or being at the level where we can make it evolve, which is nice. Was that an ice type I just heard? Oh, you can, you can't swim, can't swim in the game. You drown if you swim, understood. I was like, you can swim in this game. Nope, you can flop around for a little bit and then it kicks you back to the surface. Noted. All right, what do we have for Bidoof? Can we do anything with Bidoofs? I guess we could catch some heavy ones. We could beat them. I guess we could beat this Bidoof up. We'll tackle the Bidoof. And it's looking around. So a quick attack. Still looking around. I guess we'll just quick attack again. Alright. There's the Bidoof gone. We got an Orin Berry and Move Mastered from Shink. So it looks like Move Mastery is based off level up. Not anything else. That Buizel moved fast. There's another Wormple here. Alright. Let's see what Ray has to say.